So we're standing at a, a Bond Street station near to Davis Street, um, which is the western end of the station. And behind me, what you can see is this enormous uh, ventilation shaft. So these shafts are really important uh, for the operation of the railway. They um, uh, will be on a continuous uh, extract uh, basis, so moving air through the railway, keeping the railway cool as it operates, and over 200 million passenger journeys are made every year. I'm now standing in the eastbound running tunnels uh, at Bond Street Station, uh, where in a few years' time trains will be uh, running through this 260 metre long platform. You get a good idea of the scale of the uh, platforms on Crossrail now. So to my right here, this is the uh, platform edge. I'm standing where the track will be. Uh, and above my head, you can see this massive structure that's going in, which is the platform edge screen. Aside from the obvious safety benefits of controlling uh, smoke and uh, um, fumes in the event of an incident, um, these big extract systems also allow for climate control uh, of the railway. So if you imagine this in a few years' time, uh, with trains running through here every few minutes, um, and over 200 million passenger journeys a year, uh, there's an awful lot of heat involved um, with the flow of traffic in these tunnels. So the platform edge screen doors uh, keep the station uh, infrastructure isolated from the railway infrastructure um, and these extract uh, apertures in the structure allow us to draw the warm air out of the railway tunnels on a continuous basis. Uh, so here above my head is the platform edge screen and this structure, um, unlike uh, the Jubilee line where uh, people are familiar with platform screen doors, this structure actually seals the station environment from the running railway. So when this is finished, there'll be posts coming all the way down to the edge here and screen doors, just like on the Jubilee line, that will complete the seal. The air that comes out of the over-platform extract and also the under-platform extract eventually makes its way through the uh, interconnecting tunnels and shafts to those massive uh, tunnel vent structures uh, that we showed you earlier on, right up out into the uh, urban environment. In total, the Crossrail system has eight underground stations uh, and when we're talking about the tunnel ventilation systems, there are 18 ventilation shafts. Um, these shafts they each have multiple fans in them, uh, and the fans have a sophisticated control system which allows a coordination of the fans to cover almost any incident that we could think of. So if there was an incident with a fire in a particular place, we can draw smoke out, we can uh, push new clean air in, and in that way assist evacuation and make sure passengers are kept safe. The platform screen doors and this ceiling with the platform edge screen uh, means that the station environment is kept cleaner and kept away from the dust of the running tunnels. Uh, the platform edge screens, all four kilometres of them, are currently being manufactured by Norbrems in Wiltshire. We take delivery of the platform edge screens, uh, the first batch, uh, later this year, and then installation starts right across the central crossrail stations. An enormous task with over four kilometres of platform edge screens to install.